This video is another one about Bootstrap Studio and it's on about class styling in Bootstrap Studio. Um, about eight, nine months ago, I did a, a video on class styling in Bootstrap Studio and it was about using the HTML editor to do that, okay? Anyway, I got a question, I think it was yesterday, about, well, I thought it would be simpler. I mean, Bootstrap Studio doesn't help you to add Bootstrap classes, that sort, even so. It should let you edit any attribute without having to convert to custom coding. That should be reserved only as a last resort when special code is needed. Okay, um, yeah, well, I think somebody actually asked us uh, to do the uh, coding of the editor. So we'll just go into Bootstrap here um, and create this. Okay, so blank canvas. And we just put in something like a column, okay? Right, so just pop that in there, okay. So, just if we just click on that, and on the right hand side here we have style attribute, okay? So, here we have, uh, on there we have things like column size, and I think that's animation, yeah. But this is the most important part for the question okay so if we just go down here we have things like uh, font background okay so the I just go in here zoom in there the BG color background color in other words transparent well we could do put that in as, uh, as red okay select that all right so if um, if we just come out of there and preview this I don't think this will actually show anything okay just yeah <clears throat> he's edge okay so that's not really any good at all so okay so what we would then do is on here we would go to right here is this looks very simple it just says just go in again in case you cannot say this properly width 1024 this is about uh, laptop size and height 80 pixels this can be a little confusing because you have to go into this click the arrow the minimum height one pixel maximum height none okay so by that when you look at that first I mean I would think that would mean oh it's 80 pixels well the actual column size is but <laughs> there's not really any minimum height okay so we'll put a minimum height and we'll just call that uh, 60 pixels okay all right so we'll just come out of that all right we'll go back into edge okay and there's your 60 pixels height for the red though so how we know that that's actually um, still a div class is if we go here it's still shown div class there. If we just go to, we don't have to do the custom code, but I'm just showing that it's still the class, okay? So when you do that, it's still class, okay? That's everything that you've done there. It's still part of the class system uh, in CSS, all right? Okay, so then if you're going to put in something like Okay, right, so we're going to add a paragraph here. So we just pop this in here and be careful when you do this. Just let it go in. Just put that in there. Okay. So now you have, you can go down on the right hand side again and you're looking for font. And you could put that as 20 pixels. So you'll be able to see it better. And the color is not great either. So we we'll need to just put that so you can see it. There, you can see that there now and then you would be able to just get on with what you're doing by that okay so again that's uh that's the easiest method to do you get there's always fallbacks uh if you want a custom code and things like that but that's everything can be done on that right hand side under style attributes okay so again thanks for watching and thanks for listening